Hello, and thank you so much for coming by the channel today. I really appreciate it. My name is Susan, and I just want to catch up with you on some books that have been read, but I also want to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you consider good September reading, because I usually get very excited at the turn of a new season. We are just, you know, unofficially into fall now, but before we know it, it'll officially be fall. And whenever the season turns, I always think, okay, I'm going to read this and this and this. And for some reason that has not happened yet in September. So give me some ideas in the comments and let me know what you think a good September reading would be. But in the meantime, I will share with you what I have read. I actually finished one more book in August. Had I known I was going to do that, I would have held off my August wrap up. But I did finish Fiona Davis's The Lions of Fifth Avenue. And I have to say, I really enjoyed it. It was a uh, a take a break kind of book for me. I had just finished the heavy Hermione Lee biography on Virginia Woolf, heavy in more ways than one, as you know, and I needed just something light. And yet the plot in uh, The Lions of Fifth Avenue was very good, very engaging. We had two different timelines and there is a family connection between the two timelines. And the first timeline's in 1913. And back then we are following, our main characters in both timelines are females. And we're following a, a wife and a mother who actually lives in the New York Public Library very soon after it has been built. And that part is true. They did have an apartment there for this certain uh, job position within the library, which her husband held. And she was an aspiring journalist. And then she ended up becoming a famous writer and essayist and uh, advocate for women's rights. So that's back in the you know early 1900s. And then the other timeline is 1993, and it is her her granddaughter who works at the New York Public Library. And in both of the timelines, there's book thefts. And uh, in both timelines, the family is under suspicion. I really needed to know how it was all going to unravel. I like the length of her books. They're like at that around that 300 page length, um, which for me is a, you know, and probably for most of you is a fairly quick read. I was engaged the whole time and yet it's nothing heavy. It's just this uh, kind of escape kind of reading for me, just a piece of contemporary fiction. Some people turn to romance for, um, you know, kind of that uh, escapism or they'll turn to thrillers, which, you know, I often do. But this was a nice alternative that wasn't a thriller. It was just uh, straight fiction, good story, well written. I rate within the genre. I gave this a four. And then so far in September, I have finished two books. So I read my first Louise Penny Inspector Gamache book back in, I think, early 2020. And it was number 13 in the Gamache series. And I remember saying at the time, maybe I made a mistake, like picking up the series in the middle because uh, it was Glass Houses. And I just wasn't that into it. But I thought I might have been had I already been invested in the characters in this small Quebec town and in Inspector Gamache. And so I've had the first book in the series on my Kindle. Like I bought it when it was like $2, you know, on Amazon uh, ages ago. And I, I decided, you know what, it's time. I'm going to read Still Life by Louise Penny, which is number the first book in the Gamache series. And I so enjoyed this. I gave it four stars. Uh, she Her writing was delightful. Uh, we're, into, we're introduced to, like I said, this small town in Quebec and um, quirky characters. And we're introduced to Inspector Gamache. And um, the death happens very near the beginning. And it's an older lady who lived in this town who was much loved. And so who would want to kill her? That just seems to make no sense. And just, I think this book for murder mystery, it just had a lot of charm too. And um, I do regret that I read the 13th book in the series before like bonding with this little town. And so I am on hold already for the second book in the Gamash series. I was hoping since it's an older, I mean, the series is still going, but it started like, 
ages ago. It started in uh, Still Life was 2005. And so the next book, A Fatal Grace, came out in 2006. So I thought, oh, the ebook probably will be available at the library right away. It wasn't. I'm on hold. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a very popular series. You've you've probably already read within the series. If you have, let me know in the comments if you uh, are still enjoying reading within the series because I know she, you know, on a very regular basis comes out with a new book. So, uh, and then the final book that I read, I just finished yesterday. Again, I got it on my Kindle when it was like $2 and it's been sitting there on the Kindle and I thought it's time. It's Tana French's The Secret Place. So this came out in... 2019. Again, another four-star read for me. This is a slow burn mystery. It is a longer mystery. I think the actual book is 500 some pages, but I was engaged all the way through. So this book is centered on this girl's school. We're in Ireland. Hannah French is an Irish writer. And we find out very early on that a 16 year old boy has been found dead on the grounds of the school. And, uh, you know, of course it's investigated. They're just hitting a wall. They thought this would be a quick arrest, but it's not. And now we're a year later and a big clue comes in to a detective who is not part of the murder squad, but because the clue has been given to him, he has his chance. So we're, we're working with, in a way, two different timelines here. Every it, And the timeline will alternate chapter to chapter. So we'll see the current investigation going on uh, from that detective who has been given this latest clue a year after this murder. But then we also, the find out, I said it was set in a girl's school and we have four really close friends and we find out what was their life before this murder occurred. So again, we're going to alternate chapters between the past before the murder and the present, which the present is happening all within one day. I really enjoyed that structure. I thought it was done very well. Like I said, this is a slow burn. So if you need twists and turns at every, you know, all the time, this may not be for you and it is a longer mystery. But if you, I think her writing was wonderful and uh, I stayed engaged the entire time. So uh, again, four stars, very happy about it. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these. And again, let me know what you think September slash autumn reading looks like to you. Any suggestions you have, I would love to hear it in the comments. And that's it for today. Take care. Bye.